Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and this video is in support of competitive Call of Duty gaming. So here's the deal. Uh, people who watch my channel or not a lot know that I sometimes, you know, dip a toe into the game battles arena and, 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 you know, play with my friends and do our thing. And it's good fun. I don't pretend to be an MLG pro, but I have a good time in competitive gaming because it adds some variety compared to just public matches. And something about it just seems to matter more. You're putting it all on the line. Everyone's agreed that they're trying to win, and that's neat. But... MLG gaming is something that I'm a fan of. I'll, I'll never play at that level, but it's cool to watch. And one of the reasons, like for me personally, why I like to watch MLG is I like to see what they do. I like to see what their routes they run are. I like to see the lines of sight that they figured out that I've never seen before. I like to see the, the little variations that they do. You know, like I might know a line of sight and then they just do it slightly different and, and expose just a few pixels fewer of their body than I would in that same situation, which as we know can make all the difference. I watch MLG Gaming to get better. You know, sometimes I'll hang out in Optic Rambo's live stream and... Um, you know, I, I people are in there teasing me like, Woody, are you watching this so you can learn how to play? And my answer is like, yeah, yeah, that I am actually. I, I'm, I'm in this live stream because I usually pick something up every time I hang out. And that's what my favorite thing about MLG gaming is. Like, I, I also play this game and I learn more from them. Now, MLG gaming looks like it's going to be over. It could be. That, that, that's what I'm hearing. And the reason why is not that there's no market for it. It's not that people don't have an interest in Major League Gaming or Pro Gaming. It's that Activision's not supporting it, or specifically Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer aren't supporting it. There are two critical things they need for MLG to be able to do this game. Uh, one is the 30-second start timer. And when I first heard this, I was like, really? Like, what's your big problem here? You know, what's wrong with the standard, like, 14 second timer or whatever it is that we have in pub matches and now I understand the actual problem is this on the local area network when you're not playing on Xbox Live when you play locally which is what they need to do right because there's hundreds of people in a conference hall all playing against each other on hundreds of Xboxes um, they need to have you know this set up locally anyway on this, on a setup like this one, look at this guy. He won't plant the bomb. He just wants to camp. He's just sitting there with a kill sign over his head. Uh, so anyway, what happens is you can't join the game until I've already started playing. That's the deal. So like the host or one team, he can go and cap the first flag. He can go and set up in some position. He can do whatever he wants, whatever he wants to. And... Um, you can't like the game doesn't start until the first guy's already playing which in a competitive environment is obviously ridiculous and, and unworkable right you, you can't do that so the other thing is this they need to have custom classes right now if you just play over the local area network not on xbox live you can't even have custom classes you just have the five default ones and i mean seriously these are the best players on planet earth this is this is the major leagues of gaming and they don't have custom classes support for for local area networks the the real deal is activision infinity ward sledgehammer they're just not supporting pro gamers and i imagine what's going on in their head is this like you know what not that many people play on the local area network therefore it's not that important but the thing is LAN support isn't just for competitive gamers, it's for fans of competitive gamers. And here's what I want to happen. I want everyone who's a fan of competitive gaming, and there'll be like a click to tweet in the description of this video. Um, let 402 know about the video. Let 402 know about your support for competitive gaming, and let him know that you want LAN support, not because you use it all the time, but because you enjoy competitive gaming and you don't want competitive Call of Duty to die. There'll be a click to tweet in the description. All right, if you enjoyed this video and you're new around here, you can click on subscribe in the top right. The top video is my game battles series. I, I, I played some game battles and I, I keep it in a playlist so you guys can watch all my stuff if that sort of thing interests you. It has live like teammate communication. And the bottom one is Wife Wednesday. It's a new series, I don't know, four weeks old or so that I've been doing with my wife and uh, it's really a lot of fun. So uh, check it out if you're interested in that sort of thing and have a nice day.